Greetings and welcome to Wednesday's Devotion, the Home Edition. Our text for today is taken from Psalm 107, verse 1. Psalm 107, verse 1. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. How do you start your day? What are your thoughts focused around? Are you complaining that it's too early, that the bed was too lumpy, that you have a little more aches and pains than you had the night before? Your mind is just focused on all the negativity that's going on around us, around you. And when we have those negative thoughts, those drive the focus of our day, they dictate our emotions. Our text this day reminds us to begin with a heart of worship, a heart of thanksgiving. When you pause and thank God for the countless things that he has done for you, it reshapes how you see life. Do you understand and embrace how good God has been to us? The text says his steadfast love, God's grace in action, how God's grace chases us down. God's grace promises us to be with us all the days of our lives. My invitation to you this Wednesday, my invitation to you this week is to pause, to slow down and savor the moment and see how good God has been to you. I would like for us to embrace the spirit of thankfulness and begin our day with five to 10 things that we are just thankful for. Sure, the complaints will come, the bad things are happening, will happen, but it allows us to reset our life's compass when we pause and think about, despite our willingness to acknowledge them all the time, how good God has been to us. So this week, just worship the Lord with me and begin your day with five to 10 things that you are thankful for. Yes, some days may take you a little longer than others to come up with those five things or those 10 things, but take that time to be present with what God is doing in your life to remind you that he is your ever-present help. He is your refuge and strength. He has kept you. He has given you your daily bread. He has given you all of your faculties. And so give thanks to the Lord for he is good. You might not always or readily see his goodness, but they are there. And so today, dear friends, give thanks with a grateful heart. In Jesus' name, amen.